In Sub-Saharan Africa, women are at the center of families and communities. Women nurture children, care for aging parents, and support family members of every generation. But oftentimes, the act of giving birth can be a death sentence. These deaths disproportionately strike the most vulnerable women in the world's poorest countries. In some developed nations, the risk of dying in pregnancy and childbirth is 1 in 10,000. In some sub-Saharan African countries, it is 1 in 14. It's just not acceptable that uh, so many women die every day for something that can easily be prevented. The high rate of maternal deaths are driven by four critical delays. A delay in recognizing complications, postponement of seeking medical attention, lack of transportation to emergency services, and delays in receiving life-saving care. The factors contributing to these delays are partially related to issues of power and communication between men and women. In many countries, a woman's decision about marriage and children are not her own. If we can't address the ability of a woman to have some control over her life and some control over her destiny, or the ability of a couple to discuss some of these issues among themselves and mutually respect each other's contribution to the family, we're not going to succeed with improving the health of women and the health of children. Social norms dictate that husbands and wives do not discuss sex. Access and acceptance of family planning remains low, which leads to unplanned pregnancies and sexually transmitted infections. There is hope, because CARE understands the causes of maternal death. They also know there are solutions. By enhancing the status of women in their communities, CARE empowers them to protect their health and make informed choices about their future. A good thing about the work that we do in CARE is involving the community and involving men actually and those opinion leaders in the community really is showing us a great hope in terms of making it better for the mothers. Extreme poverty means girls are often married at a very young age. The girls face early and frequent pregnancies which can be risky to their health. 23% of all childbirth is occurring in girls under 18, some as young as 14, 15. Girls, once they leave school, are being either forced or pushed very strongly into marriages, often for economic reasons with older men. And so these are relationships where they don't really have a lot of say, they don't have a lot of power. Realizing how many of these parents push their daughters into early marriage essentially felt that they had no other choice. One of the approaches we tried was using scholarships to try and get more girls to go to secondary school. That's been very successful in terms of changing parents' ideas about girls and helping them see that it's worth investing in girls. The majority of women in sub-Saharan Africa live in rural areas with limited access to health care. Even when a woman has the power and means to seek medical care, she may find the nearest facility lacks basic supplies and properly trained staff. We are doing programming to improve our maternal health services in rural areas. And one of the interventions that we are implementing is the community scorecard. One of the issues that we have is that lack of dialogue between communities and service providers and the decision makers. So the community scorecard is a tool that we use to bring together these groups so that the quality of maternal health services improves. We have projects addressing one aspect of maternal child health, family planning. If we could have a comprehensive, integrated approach to programming, we will definitely have better results in terms of achieving maternal child health indicators. 
by integrating family planning into other programs like economic development, CARE increases awareness on pregnancy-related risks. CARE integrated family planning into 187 VSL groups. This is uh, 4,000 women and we expect that one woman would reach around 20 other women in community. This was a good strategy to increase our access. Now it's a good opportunity to show them that by limitation or by spacing their birth, they can improve their economy and they can work also on other income generating activities. CARE is part of a global coalition pushing to advance women's social status and access to essential health care before, during and after childbirth. CARE works to ensure safe motherhood is recognized as a fundamental right and that the commitments governments make to improve maternal health are delivered. Advocacy plays a very crucial role in, in reducing maternal mortality. Care Tanzania has taken up several initiatives to be able to monitor the good policies that have been created at the national level and monitoring global commitments and how they are being implemented at the local levels. And through these advocacy initiatives, we have been able to see women utilizing health services and maternal mortality rates actually improving. With more than 50 years of experience implementing maternal and child health projects, CARE is well positioned to expand targeted, cost-effective interventions proven to save women's lives. The whole issue about maternal death is preventable. And if we can combine our initiatives and work in partnership, I really believe that this is an issue that can come to an end.